This court is in session. The Honorable Judge Odson, that's me, presiding. Mr. Tinkerbottom, uh, I have not had the opportunity to actually understand the charges and uh, the uh, requested uh, the requested damages at this time. So, Mr. Tinkerbottom, I'll ask you as the plaintiff to go ahead and state your charges and your requested damages, sir. Your Honor, I'm requesting $2,000 in terms of damages to my Virgo. As seen outside, it appears that it has been burned with gasoline. It appears that it has been set alight outside of the courthouse. Now, the reason why I know uh -huh. Alabaster Slim has done this... It, oh, wait, no, sorry. Well, was, hold on, hold yeah, on, yeah, hold yeah. on, hold on. We'll get to that. We will get to that. I just want to understand the charges. Defamation, Your Honor. All right. Uh, now, $2,000. Uh, $2,000 for the, uh, the, uh... Lighting up uh, the Virgo like uh, like a small candle and setting it ablaze out Bye, in front of the Rev, courthouse. Bye, Rev. Thanks for the IP. I'm so uh, sorry. Mr. Slim, do you understand these uh, these accusations and the funds that are requested by uh, Mr. Tinkerbottom at this time? I understand wholeheartedly, Your Honor. And, uh, and I understand you case, wish to file a counterclaim. Yes, yes. Defamation of character. This man is dragging my name through the mud and I shall not have it. I'm going for the full 10000 <laughs> All right. The court understands that uh, you wish to file. Flacco, how many times do I have hey, to tell people my that my courtroom is not a jungle gym? I swear to God. I mean, a little bit like a bunch of gym. Do, uh, do I need to have Judge Bison act as a kindergarten teacher and ring a ding a bell so that y'all <laughs> get back into get back into order? Do I need to tell y'all to sit down? Do I do I look like Mr. Rogers up here, sir? Am, am I a teacher? Is that what I am? Is this a kindergarten class? Should I put y'all down for nap time? Yeah, I'm I would actually sure he love do that. Again. Put him oh, down with a blanket, Sit down and stay quiet. Put him down with a blanket. Sit down and stay quiet. We'll have cookies and milk later, Flacco. <laughs> oh, All right, back to more important matters. This court recognizes that uh, Mr. Uh, Alabaster Slim is countersuing Mr. Tinkerbottom for defamation of character in the amount of 10... Do oh, I swear to God damn it, in my courtroom, I'm going to dab all over you. Mm. All right. So that's a voice Mr. line. So we'll do that. you understand uh, the uh, the countersuit charges and uh, the requested damages that are being levied against you at this time? I do understand. All right, fantastic. I'm putting this court into uh, into session. Mr. Tinklebottom, Mr. Alabaster Slim, raise your hands. Do you swear that the testimony that you're about to give before this court today? is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you sin. I understand. I, I swear, you Your understand. Honor. I asked you to swear I it. I swear. I swear. You simple-minded. All <clears> right, <throat> put your hands down. You look foolish. Okay. Mr. Tinklebottom, at this time, I'm going to uh, ask if you have any facts and evidence, uh, receipts, photos, paperwork, Flacco, get the hell up. What What is wrong with you, child? But I was just Receipts, seeing what size photos, shoe she is. Things, things of that nature, and I don't care about your foot fetish. Flacco, take it outside uh, to put before the court today, sir. I do, Your Honor. Um, uh, part is my insurance. Am I stepping forward or am I staying here? You may step forward, sir. Your Honor, part we'll of my insurance the speaking table, thinking about is that there is a fee of $2,000 to recover any damaged items or replace any damaged items part of MRI. Uh, MRI is standing for uh, Mutual Reassurance Ins Insurance. Uh, I partner with MRI to have all of my vehicles part of Weasel News uh, insured among all my Weasel News vans and my personal vehicle. The Virgo outside is you I'm yourself. requesting documentation of the MRI, Your Honor. I'm requesting documentation of This will take time agreement. to obtain. Oh, I have to speak with all my right. the court, I, I move, motion that the court ignore all MRI. All MRI claim mm. is null and void. Therefore, there is no proof of MRI agreement between Tinklebottom and whatever and foolish so company he making up. All right. I'm going to deny that request at this time. We're going to take it under faith that uh, Mr. Tinklebottom is telling the truth here. However, I will require that documentation, uh, Mr. Tinklebottom, uh, no less than uh, 24 hours from this moment. If I do not see it, any judgment that I render today... I will reverse and I will penalize you. Do you understand, sir? I understand fully. Okay. Uh, standard, right. That is the uh, that is uh, the paperwork that I will be able to present to you within the next 24 hours, Your Honor. Now, Your Honor, this Virgo, I do believe, has been damaged 
by Alabaster Slim behind me due to the fact he has made multiple threats over the phone on multiple days throughout the past week. I can even show you my phone logs. That, uh, Objection, Your Honor. Lacks evidence. I have the evidence on my phone here, Your Honor. I would like to uh, send you uh, the amount of calls Could be that I've been getting. calls. We was operating a TV show. I have no, no proof I, on I, the I, actual calls. I've ordered you to leave. All right, order in, in my court. Man, order in my court, gentlemen. He's I will take these phone calls into consideration, but uh, I will weight them appropriately. Do you mind if I take the time to submit to you these phone calls right now? Uh, do it after we're done speaking, sir, uh, while uh, while Mr. Slim is putting on his case. Uh, we only have... I'm going to be going to lunch in about 40 minutes, and I want to get this done before then. Well, I've just submitted you the phone calls just now anyways. It's only taken me that long. I've just All screenshotted right, the fine. phone logs. As you can see, Alabaster Slim, labeled in my phone as punk ass bitch. <laughs> punk ass pimp, I apologize. <coughs> That, that uh, just to state Hello. the record, that's what he's been labeled in my phone. That's slander. <laughs> Good lord, sir. The slander right, well. continue, your honor. <laughs> uh, so, so noted. So noted, Mr. Tinklebottom. It's been noted. This says uh, Alabaster Slim and I do not like each other. Uh, Alabaster Slim is been motherfucker. As point proven, it's actually, that's my point. We do not enjoy. We do not like each other's company at all. I do my best to avoid him. Alabaster Slim has attacked me in the past previously. There should be a police report at the time where he injured me with a bat uh, a while ago, but I'm unsure if uh, it, we would have access to that at this time. Um, I have access to everything, sir. Okay, well, we can check that in a second then, unless you would like to check it now, Your Honor. I will, no, I will check it later while I am deliberating. Uh, uh, can you give me a date range? Within seven days. Within seven days. Understood. Okay. All right. This guy's favorite movie must be The Ring, Yana. You talking about seven days. Alabaster has been known to police, as I've seen him been arrested multiple times and have footage multiple times of cam uh, on camera of him being detained. I've read the news multiple mm -hmm. times to see that he has been transported to prison. Now, in the phone logs that I've sent you, you can see that Alabaster Slim, who I wish would stop calling me, has been calling me, making me threats, saying he's going to go into my Weasel News office and burn everything down. He's going to go there and he's going to harm my employees, which I know he's lying because he's been working with one of my business partners, Vinny Canoozle, to make a TV show together using my offices. Though I actually mm -hmm. haven't For the record, Vinny Canoozle is my business partner now, Yana. For the record. He works underneath uh, me. Mr. Slim... Mr. Slim, I would ask that you stop interrupting Mr. Tinklebottom uh, un unless to make some kind of objection for calls. I was just getting I the will... facts in accordance. I, I understand that, sir. I will hear your side of the story when the when the plaintiff rests. But as I was saying, yes, Your Honor. As I was saying before, just to sum this all up really quickly, <clears throat> I believe mm -hmm. my car has been damaged by Alabaster Slim. Because of all the threatening phone calls I have received, not only today, but within the past week, within the past week, the violent outbursts he's had towards me on the phone, the violent outbursts he's had towards me in person, and the facts that I've been threatened by him, even in the court, I do not know if you have seen, but he has been putting on his mask and flipping me off inside of the courtroom uh, while you were present, uh, symbolizing uh, threats. It's also why he was here. I received a phone call by him saying he was looking for me before uh, he actually did arrive while I was on the stand. I believe that my life is threatened and I'm very scared for my life and its safety because of Alabaster Slim and his actions. And I do believe for a torture, not a torture treatment, but to aggravate me, annoy me, get at me for uh, denying him to film in my courtroom, I believe he has set my car alight. Mm -hmm. Wait, excuse me, sir. In whose courtroom? My my cam my camera room. Did I say courtroom? My camera room. <laughs> you did. You you almost made a grave error, <laughs> sir. Who the? Right. My green screen room. <laughs> mm, I could not do better. this at all. Trying to fabricate a story. My courtroom. It is your courtroom, Your Honor. Right. I'm the big dog here. Okay. It's your Anyhow. it's your court courtroom, there, big dog. <laughs> As you can hear behind me, even the uh, the outburst that uh, Alabaster has been quite rude to the both of us.
proving that he's known for uh, violent outbursts of rage and random acts of violence. Mm. Your Honor, how, mm. how many felonies does Alabaster Slim have, and is he known for arson? Objection, Your Honor. This is not a criminal trial. This is small claims court. A motion Sustained. that my record not be pu made public. Sustained. I will not be making uh, an individual's uh, record public inside of these proceedings, Mr. Tinklebottom. That is outside the scope of this court. Your Honor, it's public knowledge and publicly accessible. I understand that, sir, but not I fit will for the not. I will not be reading off every single offense that Mr. Alabaster Slim has has done inside of this courtroom at these proceedings uh, at this time. I will take it under advisement, and it will be a part of my deliberation, but I'm not going to air Mr. Slim's entire past for the entire gallery. Thank you, Your Honor. This is all I have to say for now. Evidence of character? I all don't right. know that, chat. Mr. Tinkerbottom, do you have any witnesses? Do you have any witnesses that you wish to call forward at this time? Am I allowed to do the same thing that uh, Dr. Isaac was doing? I forget what he used. Uh, character witnesses. I will allow you to call a character witness, sir. But if I feel like you are trying to impugn Mr. Slim for other items that may or may not be related to uh, acts of arson or car vandalism, then I'm going to put a stop to it right away. I like to call Judge Bison. And please do remember, <laughs> I, I, I treat my lunchtime as holy, and uh, there's 38 minutes, and then I am going to lunch. I'll make this as quick Your as Honor, I possibly can. I would can. like for you to restate the fact regarding the car damage or arson again to James Tinklebottom before he called his character witness to the stand and waste our time. It is so noted. Mr. Tinklebottom, if you have a character witness that you wish to bring forward, you may do so. I like to bring but you will keep all questions within the scope of vehicular damage and arson I as understood. pertains to Mr. Slim. I like to call uh, Bison up to the stand. Now, bastard, did you see my note? All right, Judge Bison, I please step that forward. He's mentally unstable. <clears throat> Hello, Your Honor. You all mine. Please, hey, please yeah. raise your hand, Your Honor. Do you swear that the testimony you're about to give before this court today is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you sin. I do. All right, Your Honor, you are sworn in. I remind you, you are under oath at this time, sir. Mr. Tinklebottom, you may proceed to question this individual. Do so with reverence and respect, sir. You're questioning a judge in my courtroom. Yes, Hudson. Uh, judge Bison, have you ever seen or heard or witnessed... Uh, Alabaster Slim committing any type of uh, ve vehicular damage or uh, arson to other property in the past? I have heard about it, yes. How many times oh, have you heard about Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. Hearsay. Sustained. Have you witnessed Alabaster this... do any of this before? No, I haven't witnessed it. Is Alabaster to, uh, to the PD known for committing these crimes in the past? I don't Objection, know. I don't Your Honor. Also hearsay. I'm going to overrule that. The judge would have access to the MDT or to police personnel who would be able to tell him this. You may answer, sir. I kind of do. I was just saying, I don't, I don't stare at Mr. Slim's record all day. I wouldn't know unless I looked at it. All right. All right. Can I have a moment to gather my thoughts here, please, uh, Your Honor? You may. Your Honor, I motion that time is of the essence here and that Mr. James Ticklebottom proceed in an according fashion. Mr. Slim, we're going to give him a minute just to figure himself I need, out. I need to think of a good question. If we have to, we'll adjourn and find a way to reconvene at another time. But I do ask you, Mr. Ticklebottom, to be cogent and cognizant of the I time restrictions we are facing right now. I tell you again, sir, my lunch is holy time for me. And That's I will kick you all out of my courtroom. Uh, I have no further questions to add or other witnesses to bring to the stand. All right. All right, you may step back, Alabast them. Mr. Alabaster Slim. Do you have any questions for the Honorable Judge Bison, sir? Known to be violent? Doesn't... Well, I mean, I could. I don't know. Uh, yes. Yes, Your Honor. And uh, I do pertain that this question is in scope. I've got nothing to win. I'm case, just doing this out of spite, well as, by uh, the way. The judge's responses. Um, uh, but I will so let granted. you be the judge of that. Um, if you go down a path, I'm going to kick it right out. So go ahead. Judge Bison. Do you have, yes, do we have a history together of violence? Uh, minor, but yes. Okay, let me rephrase that then. Do we have a, a history of violence in which you are the perpetrator of violent acts against me? 
You on objection? Yes. Oh, on you answered the question. Related I'm, to I'm vehicular or arson? Oh. oh, this isn't. This is character. This is character witness. You brought a character up onto the stand, therefore it is in my in my defense to characterize. But it's witness limited to vehicular damages me, and fire. Ar uh, but it's not limited to the character witness. I'm sure the honor the honorable Judge Artson recognizes that if he's going to paint a picture, then it could possibly in, be a picture of drawn by bias. In cross examination, uh, Mr. Tinkerbottom, uh, the defense is allowed to call into question the character of the witness. Uh, you are bringing forth a witness that is calling into question the defendant's I am going up against a lawyer. as it pertains to vehicular damage and arson, which is perfectly allowable in this circumstance. Mr. Tinklebottom is allowed to present uh, testimony or uh, ask questions of the Honorable Judge Bison to call into question his character and thereby his entire testimony. Although, Mr. Slim, I'm going to have to tell you, this line of question annoys me greatly, sir. I do not like having a judge's reputation and character questioned inside of my courtroom. So proceed with simply... trepidation, sir. You're on incredibly thin ice. I I'm have not trying nothing. to draw any paint, paint any picture within this courtroom, other than that bias. Maybe a uh, maybe a uh, point here that there could be. A, I just would like to point out that there could obviously be a bias in this testimony. And uh, for the record, I would like to motion that we. Uh, Dismiss this uh this entire this entire d talking to. Denied. <laughs> no further questions, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Slim. Your Honor, you may step down. Go bottom right, get to redirect. No, I want civil call. I'm not bothering with it. Okay, we're low on time. Mr. Tinklebottom, do you have any further witnesses uh, or facts and evidence that you wish to provide to the court at this time? Not at this time, no. All right. Mr. Slim, do you have any facts and evidence, receipts, phone logs, uh, text messages, anything of this nature that you wish to present to the court at this time for my uh, deliberation on later, sir? At this time, Honorable Judge Big Dog, I have no evidence to submit into scope. All right. Do you have a statement which you wish to make before this court, sir? Yes, I do, Your Honor. May I proceed to the speaking I'm table? things I could be you saying, may proceed but I have to the speaking table with reverence, sir. Okay. Your Honor, I stand by here day, today wrongfully accused of a crime that I did not commit. I myself would like to motion into evidence my criminal record. I am not known for any type of arson or vehicle damage. That is not something that I do. I may be a heinous motherfucker, but I ain't done nothing like that to nobody. I do not damage people's motor vehicles, Yana. And that is fact in this courtroom. I've actually damaged his car a lot noted. more. And your criminal there record is, 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 is under consideration during my deliberations. Yes, Your Honor. Now, one thing I would like to point out is that this man, he jumped the gun. There is no evidence. There is nobody to witness if I did or did not destroy damage, vandalize, Austin James Tinklebottom car. I did none of that shit, Your Honor. I'm innocent. I did not, I simply wouldn't even have the time to do it. I was out the door, and was I aware of the damages that I saw? Yes. I was horrified. I was horrified by the sight of which I saw, which was a destroyed vehicle. Now then, what I would like to uh, move forward with in acknowledging is that James Tinklebottom is not a fan of mine due to his own self-admittance, therefore trying to paint a bias and turn me into some kind of a scapegoat for the sake of getting a little money, also dragging my name through the mud in the process and belittling me in front of my peers. Objection! This simply will not stand for a pimp. You're a hypocrite! <laughs> you said the same thing that towards is not, me. That, <laughs> that is not, not an objection. objection <laughs> thing, sir. So I'm going to overrule that objection at this time. The witness is allowed to make, or the witness, the defendant is allowed to make a statement in his interests. Oh, God. That is all I got to say, Your Honor, is that I simply do not, would not, should not, shan't not, did not do uh, that shit, Your Honor. I, love I did not him. destroy James Tinklebottom vehicle. All right. Thank you, Mr. Slim. You may step back. Do you have any no witnesses problem. you wish to bring before the oh. court at this time, sir?
I would like to call a character witness onto the stand. Kevin Shaw. And senior attorney Kevin Shaw. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> so granted, Mr. Shaw, step forward to the witness stand. He's got a bias towards me. All right, Mr. Shaw, raise your hand. Absolutely. Can you swear that the testimony you're about to give before this court today is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you sin? Absolutely. All right. You are sworn in, sir. I remind you are on the oath, and if I catch you lying, I'm going to have a field day with you in your career. Do you understand that? Absolutely. Mm. Yep. All right. Mr. Slim, you may question. Nothing less. Kevin Shaw, do you know who James Tinklebottom is? Yes. Can you inform the court? Can you point to Mr. Tinklebottom for the courtroom? Uh, for the sake of uh, right everybody there. in here, for the judge? Yep. Okay. In front of Judge be noted that Be noted that my witness has pointed directly at James Tinklebottom and identified him 100%, Your Honor. So noted. Uh, Kevin Shaw, I ask you. Has James Tinklebottom in any way wronged, wrong, wrongfully uh, tried to accuse you of any crime, wronged you in any way, whether that be physical or mental, being that, oh, for the record, the record, I would like to for us to move forward that he is a uh, known psych, psych patient, that this man does have mental pro this is a mental patient. Objection, like I've been cleared, is not mentally well. unstable. Sustained. The court will not hear anything on an individual's mental status unless it comes from a qualified mental professional. And Mr. Tinklebottom has signed the necessary waivers. This is civil civil court, sir, not criminal court. And uh, either way, it is well outside the scope of this particular incident. Uh, Agreed, Your Honor. It was worth a shot. To, to answer your question, uh, yes, I have been wronged by uh, Mr. Tinklebottom. Um, he kidnapped me in an alley put me in the trunk of my own vehicle, and then drove my vehicle into the ocean. Although I was fortunate enough to get out of the vehicle right before he ended up putting the vehicle into the ocean. Objection. Uh, evidence? <laughs> Alleged. <coughs> no, that is what I witnessed. Also, uh, that was incident number one. Uh, a few days later, at most, um, I was at the clothing store getting dressed. It took me a little while, uh, you know, uh, finding a pair, pair of pants that fit me uh, quite well. It takes a little bit of time. <clears throat> that being said, I got into my vehicle after about 30 minutes. Uh, I forgot to lock it. I went to my apartment. I hung up my clothes. I took out another outfit that I wanted to switch out for uh, court. And upon arriving back at the clothing store, I was being pulled over by a one Frank Williams. And upon being pulled over, Mr. Tinklebottom then started screaming at the top of his lungs, stating, help, I have been kidnapped, uh, and was in the trunk of my vehicle. Um, at that point in time, uh, Mr. Williams opened my trunk, and then Mr. Tinklebottom ran off. Uh, and Mr. Tinklebottom's vehicle was parked, I'd say, a quarter of a block away at most. Um, long story short, he attempted to make it seem like I kidnapped him, um, in an attempt to, you know, get back at <laughs> he wants uh, to go to lunch. the situation in which he kidnapped me. Hmm. And that has been filed with the police. I just want to make that Objection. Clear. It's still actually in an, uh, an active investigation. The uh, outcome has not been ruled out as of yet. We're still working with police to determine the, uh, who here is at fault. But, I have a different story to yeah, that I, know, side of I, I motion that we take that. That it had a, a motion that we take the possible investigation into consideration when you uh, move into your deliberation phase, Yana. I'm going to sustain Mr. Tinklebottom's uh, objection uh, as uh, anything that I would take into deliberation must be considered uh, a fact or must have already been closed. Oh, I cannot and will not rule on the possibility of what an investigation might turn up. That is not the purview of this courtroom, and I will not taint any further cases, be they criminal or civil, Got him! Uh, with a decision of mine that Actually, might have been influenced by currently open The block case. was super effective. Hey, that's something a mentally unstable patient would do, for sure. What the hell, uh, Flacco? I, I will excuse myself. Have a good day. <laughs> See you later, Flacco. Uh, Judge Artson, I would just like to make it clear, if at all possible, that Jenny Hall requested uh, if I... Uh, wanted to press any charges against Mr. Tinklebottom. Um, I chose not to. I chose not to at the time, and, and that is the reason 
He did not get charged with it. Because you I had no evidence, that, sir. I will, <laughs> I will take that <clears throat> into consideration, <laughs> but I must also take into consideration that these uh, these uh, accusations from you, sir, which are criminal in nature, but have not been upheld in a code of law. So I will weight them appropriately. If I actually Understood. hit something, that'd be amazing, but I think I've lost significantly. <laughs> Yeah, and I have no further questions for Mr. Kevin Shaw. He only got one right, question, sir, and I actually back, shut down Mr. all these other bottom. ones. I'm proud of myself. You may cross-examine Mr. Shaw. Hello, Kevin Shaw. How are you doing this fine day? Hello. I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Kevin, I hope that even though we do have differences, you were answered truthfully today. Kevin, Absolutely. is that Alabaster Slim? Uh, to the best of my knowledge, yes. To the best of your knowledge. So you 100%... <laughs> Who's that there with the mask? Is that is that what Alabaster Slim looks like? <laughs> so you, you... Uh, Alabaster Slim. <laughs> Wait, could you? The, what's the question? Is that Alabaster the Slim? The court right will stipulate <laughs> that that is in fact Alabaster Slim. Splendid. Remember, I'm going to lunch in 20 minutes, gentlemen. I will try this to hurry this up as fast as I can. My, my Jimmy John uh -huh. sandwich is far more important than your court case. <clears throat> Kevin, without Agreed, disclosing. Your Honor. Kevin, without disclosing the alleged crimes, have you represented uh, have you represented him at Mission Road PD in the past? Uh, yes. For felonies, misdemeanors, he won't disclose that. Uh, I don't I don't see how that's relevant here. You are yes getting no. dangerously close to privilege, sir. Have you ever experienced, um, have you ever experienced Alabaster Slim commit any of these crimes, such as, uh, vehicular damage or arson? He's gonna say no. No. Have you overheard, uh, anyone saying these things about Alabaster Slim? Have you heard a discussion about him doing these crimes? Has he been alleged? Has he been alleged by the police to do these crimes in the past? I'm not winning anywhere here. Uh, on so the weird. basis that calls for, for speculation, it wouldn't be, you know... I'm speculating you won't give me the answer. The truth, I will not answer that. Please. Mm. I have no further questions at this time. All right, you may step back. Mr. Shaw, I will remind you that uh, you will answer every question put to you. And if there is an objection that is raised, then I will be the one to tell you whether or not you ought to answer a question. I don't want you doing that yourself in my courtroom, sir. <laughs> you are creating Understood. reversible error. Tall. You are creating appealable error by doing that. I I understand, but uh, Hello, in the I same mean, token, we are dealing with people who aren't. It was a good try, but I've got nothing to say. May not know True. their objections. Understood. Like but me, Your thank, Honor. I just thank, appeal. Thankfully, here. I had already ruled previously that a question of that nature would be speculation. All right. But let, let me jump in there and do what I need to do. That way we cover our bases, please, Mr. Shaw. Absolutely. I appreciate you, Judge, or Judge Artson. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to uh, let you know, Mr. Tinklebottom, that that falls under the previous objection for hearsay that uh, I would have ruled as sustained. All right, Mr. Shaw, you may step down. I'm ready to rest. Mr. Slim, do you have anything further in the way of witnesses to put before this court today? Uh, for time's sake, Your Honor, no. All right, gentlemen, I will put this court in recess as I go and deliberate upon what we have spoken about. Hello, uh, Eli. This cold is in recess. Thank you. No uh, evidence. Greetings from Australia. Have to win the Flacco case. this court back into session. After deliberation, I am finding as such. Mr. Tinklebottom, the uh, evidentiary requirements... Uh, inside of a civil case are lesser win. than that of a criminal case. In a criminal case, we look for uh, guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. Here in civil, uh, we we measure by a preponderance of evidence, sir. It is a lighter burden. Uh, but, unfor but what I've seen today, that although Mr. Slim has a record that is... Uh, oh, that's not going to work. Well, it, it, it is... Uh, 
it is quite long and uh, and quite appalling, sir. Even taking that into F. consideration, there F. is no actual uh, evidence, sir, uh, beyond mere speculation. And I knew this was going to happen. I only took him in spite. That would have uh, caused me to believe that Mr. Slim did, in fact, pull gasoline all over your car and light it up like a Roman candle. And it is for that reason, sir, that uh, I am uh, finding for the defendant in the amount of $2,000 for wrongfully accusing him and dragging his uh, pimply name through the mud, sir. You're joking. You will. You will. You will be billed $2,000, sir. And I am also ordering at this time. Pimply name. Pimply. I am ordering at this time, sir, that all, all fuzzy dice from your news vans be surrendered to the pimp as spoils of this wall. I do not own any fuzzy dice. Uh, Your Honor, quick question. Can you can you tell me what a pimply... What did you say? Can you recall what you said? What does pimply what mean? I, I could not understand you. Hmm? Pimply matter? I don't matter? remember what I said. I you, so yeah, what, was, so uh, I have removed him from his pimply matter. Is is pimping legal? <laughs> I've just got in five shots. All right, that's the that's the uh, the actually there's nothing uh, there's nothing in the laws about it right now, sir. Uh, believe it or not. So, <clears throat> so if there's nothing in the law, why am I being charged with taking him down from that throne? Well, you slandered him, sir. You falsely accused him and brought him here. With I no wish to appeal immediately. You. Well, you may do so, and the justices may uh, may may confer and counsel. All right, so. Uh, since you are filing an appeal, I am setting aside my verdict, and uh, I will allow a. I, I will let the justices know they will confer in counsel as to whether or not uh, my ruling here was sufficient. I believe that there are cameras running in the courtroom, are there not, that would be able to uh, take a look at all of this and make sure that I did everything correctly. Absolutely, there's one there, and there's one there, and there's also one there. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. All right, Judge Bison, I assume that uh, yourself as well as uh, Chief Justice Labar and uh, possibly Judges Holiday and Vallier will be taking a look at this. So, my verdict is set aside until such time as a, uh, as a council of at least two, if not three or more justices can review this case and uh, make a decision as to whether or not I should be overturned. Should I not be overturned? Mr. Tinklebottom, you will be billed for two thousand dollars, which will be payable to Mr. Slim. Yeah, I, I, know, I do wish to count as sue. I do wish to count as sue again for a second time. He continues to drag my name through the mud <laughs> by appealing this decision. Uh, I wish to count as sue. The count as sue. Uh, all right, gentlemen. An appeal is just that. There is no count as sue and count as sue. We're gonna be here all day for stuff like this. So I'm gonna let this decision go forward, and we are going to have the justices take a look at it. I am setting aside my verdict at this time. That is the order of this court, and this court is adjourned, and I'm 13 minutes away from a sandwich. Ooh, what kind of sandwich? I... That matters. Well, I had an Italian sandwich yesterday. I'm not sure. Oh, wait, no. I've got leftover leftover uh, steak and a cob salad sitting in the fridge from dinner. I'm having Ooh. that. God. That a good no, meal. No, wait, no. I'm sorry. It was a wedge salad. It is was this a wedge court... salad. It was is a delicious this... wedge salad. Is this over? Wonderful. This code is adjourned. Goodbye.